So we're going to go through all of the movements of the upper extremity. So I'm going to start with my fingers. So we have flexion, extension, A, B, A, D. Flexion and extension are sagittal with the medial lateral axis, A, B, A, D. Frontal planar movement with an anterior posterior axis. We also have flexion and extension of the thumb, but this breaks all the flexion and extension rules as far as planes and axes go. So flexion, think about making an angry four, go into extension. You can see my anatomical snuff box there. Do it like a windshield wiper, and you can see that that is not sagittal plane, right? That's gonna be our sagittal, I mean sagittal, frontal plane with the anterior posterior axis. And we do A, B, A, D. A, B is coming out straight forward into the sagittal plane for the thumb. A, D, I'm returning back to my hand. So that's gonna be our sagittal planar movement for the thumb with the medial lateral axis. We can also go into opposition, which is multiplanar. We're not addressing the axis there because it's not one of the axes that you've actually learned. With the wrist, we have flexion and extension, sagittal plane, medial lateral axis. We have radial deviation and ulnar deviation, frontal plane, anterior, posterior axis. That's what the wrist does. Now, forearm, we have pronation and supination. Don't get confused when you're thinking about opening a doorknob. You always have to take it back to anatomical position before you do an analysis on it. So that's gonna be a transverse planar movement with a longitudinal axis. That's the only thing the forearm does. Now let's go to the elbow. Flexion and extension, that's the only thing your elbow should be doing. And that is a sagittal planar movement, both of those with a medial lateral axis. Now shoulder time, we have flexion and extension. Hyperextension as a fitness professional, medical professional, not so much. We would have to go into injury land for it to be technically called hyperextension. Those are sagittal planar movements, medial lateral axis. We also have AB, AD, frontal plane, anterior, posterior axis. We have internal and external rotation, horizontal or transverse plane, longitudinal axis. And then we have horizontal AD, horizontal AB, Again, transverse plane, longitudinal axis. And those are the movements of the upper extremity.